Hey there, uh, Cowboy, coming to you from Portland, Oregon. Showing off um, another high-end collection of uh, Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, this collection today is series 1 through 15, complete. Um, first series in the, well real quickly, uh, these binders, official collector binder. These are pretty sweet binders. The, the purple are last year's uh, edition that were made by Tops. And uh, the red ones were this year's edition, or the end of last year's, that are now sold out. Both series, or both the uh, purple and the and the red are sold out. I contacted Tops, and uh, they don't have any more, um, at least right now, anyway. And um, online, you can buy them on eBay for about 50 bucks with shipping, uh, maybe a little bit more. So. Uh, these are pretty sweet. Uh, most of my collections will come with the binders. Luckily, I uh, scooped up plenty of those early on. Uh, series one is a beautiful series. This is uh, Matt Backs. Series one, all 88 cards. Uh, 82 is the actual set, and then you get a bonus of six, uh, six, six cards. Um, these cards are all pretty well centered. Uh, pretty dang sharp. I like to refer to this set as uh, Minty Mint. Uh, very, very nice set. Um, there's the two atom bombs, uh, J Decays, and the Dead Ted. So, once again, the um, variation cards are uh, 5A and B, 8A and B, and 29A and B. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, Pretty fantastic set I put together. Pretty proud of this one. Anyway, the unfortunate part of uh, this viewing is that, uh, well, unfortunate for the people that might want it, is this complete listing has sold. Uh, I'm putting it up on eBay so the buyer can, uh, can view it. Uh, the only way it could sell, actually, is if somebody chose to buy it now for $5,000. Um, which I don't see that happening, but um, part of the reason why I'm putting these up is to advertise that um, I put nice sets together, and if you have an interest in uh, a quality set, um, when I mean quality, I mean like uh, the best you can find on eBay, then get a hold of me and I'll put one together for you. Uh, these sets aren't cheap though. Um, you can find uh, plenty of $400 sets on eBay. And I say go for it if you want um, a set like that. Um, I, I can also sell sets like that as well. But if you want a real high-end set, um, 1 through 15, let me know. And I can put one together for you. Um, I also have some graded cards. Uh, PSA 10 down to 7. If you have any graded cards that you need, glossy or matte back, let me know. And uh, next week I'll be putting up some nice uh, 88 variation glossy sets, uh, first series sets. And uh, I got a little surprise coming next week as well. It's going to be a fantastic set that I'll be putting up. Uh, but it's not um, something that's that common. Anyway, that's the first series. Now let's take a quick look at the, the second series. Second series is a uh, glossy back series with uh, Fran Fran and Schizo Fran. There's Double Heather. There is Fran Fran. And on the back, you will find Schizo Fran. That's one of the um, variation cards. They made one set with Schizo, one set with Fran. Uh, yeah. So that is the one variation card that will come with this set. Let's quickly flip on to set number three. Let me just do a quick browse of these. But these are uh, also very sharp, very nice, uh, very nice second series set. Um, this is my best uh, series one through 15 that I've put together so far. Pretty happy with this one. Um, sets like this, the 1 through 15, um, sell for uh, 
I, I will sell them for right around fifteen hundred dollars. Um, so yeah, these I'm not going to give these away. Um, but they are if you're looking for four sharp and uh, minty minty type cards. Uh, this is the type of set that uh, I'll sell you. Uh, this is series uh, series three. Uh, it comes with all variations. Uh, in series three, the variation card would be uh, Joe Blow and Rod Wad. Both have uh, uh, different backs to them. Uh, award backs, barber shop back, and uh, oh. I don't remember what the other back was. I'd have to take a look and see. Um, but they, they have different award backs. And then there's also, um, who else has a, um, Snooty Sam and uh, US Arnie have different award backs. These are uh, pristine condition cards. Uh, very nice pack fresh um, looking cards. Um, the, oh, and Al, Alice Island also is a variation card, has a variation back, along with uh, Liberty Libby. So you get six additional cards with uh, Series 3. Series 4 is a little bit different variations. They actually have different names. Uh, Hollywood has a, a different, different name. I'll show you that one on the back of this set. So Hollywood's B is Woody Allen, and then let me flip to the fourth series a little quicker. Fourth series is very, very good looking set as well. So here's the variation cards. So you have uh, Oak K, Igloo, and Alien Ian has a different puzzle back. And then uh, here you have uh, Reese's Pieces, Battered Brad, and um, Outer Space Chase. Uh, Outer Space Chase is a different uh, back. And then of course the, the um, checklist back that shows the, the other names, uh, the variation names. So you have two different checklists with, uh, with the different names. Here's the checklist. Series. Five. Let's flip through this and I'll flip right to the variation cards. Uh, this is another um, four sharp. Very, very good looking set. Pretty happy with this set. So here's um, the variation cards are Jordan Nuts, D Faced, um, Earl Painting, and uh, Wendy Winston. Those just have uh, variation backs. Uh, and here's the, the B sides to those cards. Old uh, Terry Cloth. So those are those are the fifth series variations. Okay, let's move on to the next. Oops, that's out of order. Series six. It's kind of fun with series uh, series six. Um, no variations with this set. This is a standard four sharp, nice uh, condition. Six series set. Let me uh, flip through. Try not to take too much time here looking at these. But as you can tell, these are uh, quality cards, all in Ultra Pro uh, sheets. Um, they display very nice. The binders, I think, uh, present well. I think uh, it's the way to. It's the way I like to do them anyway. And uh, I haven't had any complaints from people that buy it from me, so I take it they like that, how I put them together as well, but some people might take them out and put them in their own special way. Um, I prefer to have two in a slot, that way they don't take up as much space. And with these Ultra Pro sheets, they fit nicely with two, nice and snug in there. Um, keeps the cards nice and flat. Okay, Series 7. This is... Uh, Kind of a cool, cool series. This series has um, Adam Boom and Gooey Huey on the front. And on the back, you'll get uh, Blasted Billy Two and uh, Bo Bo Bobby Booger. Anyway, um, take a look at the um, 
the Garbage Pail Kids, how it's blue right there. Well, they, they made a air or a print run air and they made two of the cards right here Blast of Billy 2 and uh, Bobby Booger uh, see the color is uh, it's a purple there's the blue and these guys have the purple so that's the that's the air card real nice looking cards um, so that makes Series 7, uh, this Series 7 anyway, uh, a little bit more valuable. And it also comes with uh, a couple variation cards that are just puzzle back variations. Okay, this is Series 8. Looking set. This set is uh, no variations, it's just complete. Complete Series 8 set. What you'll find when people say, hey, it's got all the variations or doesn't have all the variations, is kind of like what I showed you. Sometimes, like with Series 1, pretty simple variations. It just had the um, checklist backs and the award back difference with, uh, with those six cards that I mentioned. Um, some of the other series have um, name differences, which I think are kind of cool when they have uh, variation names. But... Um, the ones that I'm not too into are the ones that are like puzzle piece backs where you get just a, the same puzzle that you're building but one, one A has a, um, a different type of puzzle and then the B has a different type of puzzle. I'm not too into those but um, the different award backs are kind of cool. Those I, uh, I like to put in there. Most of these series 8 through... Uh, 14 are going to be either a, you know, if you had the variation, it would be either a checklist or the award back. So that's nothing, nothing too exciting. I like the Series 7, though, because it's a actual, like, an air, print air with the, with the color. Uh, there's there's quite a few out there of the purple and the blue, but they're, I wouldn't call them common, though, the, um, the purple. Because most sets just come come with the blue. Anyway, um, there's Beastie Boyd, and uh, this card, this is a Series 9 card, semicolon. Um, it's kind of been made famous because uh, uh, supposedly in Canada they made, they printed out the uh, Night Series wax packs, and they printed some of the cards without the number on there. I could be wrong that they were done in Canada, uh, but they were either done in the United States or in Canada and I think um, the story I heard is that it was the Canadian base cards that uh, you have a better chance of getting the semicolon air with no number. Um, you'll find those on eBay anywhere from two to geez one one knucklehead selling them for like sixteen hundred bucks. Um, never seen one of his cards sell for sixteen hundred but he's got them up there for way way up there. But um, if you can get 1600 so be it, man. That's uh, that's great. But um, uh, most of them that I see sell, sell in the range of, uh, well, I sold one for 180 bucks, and I've seen them sell upwards of three, 400 bucks. Haven't seen any 10s, though. I see my call them 10s, PSA grade 10s. Um, I'm guessing there might only be one or two of those out there. That would probably sell for a couple thousand, though. That guy selling the $1,800 one might be in business if he had some 10s instead of 7s or 8s. But anyway, um, here is the rest of this series, uh, 10. Good looking set. So then we'll move on to 11 here in a second. I right, just got to go a little quicker with 15 sets. It'll uh, eat up way too much time. So I'm just going to kind of do a big review up here. So that's series 10, complete all sets. And now let's move on to the final series 11. Now, um, what makes um, series 11 through 15 a little bit more valuable is that uh, in 1985, when they came out with Garbage Pail Kids, uh, very few people got a hold of the first series because it was, um, wasn't quite mass produced like the uh, third through tenth 
Uh, third through tenth was the meat and potatoes of Garbage Pail Kid Land. That's when um, you could find them at every video store, every convenience store, pretty much anywhere. I think they even sold them at church. I don't remember, but I think I saw them there. Anyway, uh, they sold Garbage Pail Kids pretty much anywhere where they take your money. Um, so anyway, um, by series 11 though, the, the fad started to wear off a little bit and not everybody had the series 11 and then uh, series 12 was even more and by series 13 people really started to drop off on collecting them for a little bit because that that age group that was buying them uh, kind of I think grew uh, a, a little little tired of them I don't know or just uh, they probably felt like they had enough I mean can you imagine 15 series coming all out in three years that's a lot. Uh, last time Tops did a release of Garbage Pill Kids, they only did seven series, and then they stopped there. So 15 really has got to keep your attention. So that was uh, that series. This is series 12. So this is about when I when I was a kid, I stopped uh, collecting right around series 12. Bought a few packs. Um, this is uh, a collection that I put together later as an adult, so that's why they're in such good condition. Um, if these were from when I was a kid, you'd probably uh, seem pretty well tore up. But these came from uh, wax packs from when I was an adult. Put these sets together. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice sets. Uh, like I said, I would consider uh, this one through fifteen um, near mint plus plus to minty mint pack fresh. I mean, it's uh, it's a plus grade. Um, Garbage Pell Kids. So now let's uh, flip through to um, Series 13. So this is Series 13. This is when they, they stopped, they, they didn't produce as much or didn't sell as many. So uh, not as many people had sets 13. Most stores, I think, stopped started refusing uh, packs because I stopped seeing them in stores. You'd start... Um, the little local convenience stores, you just sit and see them. Uh, they get one or two boxes and then kind of just go, yeah, they're not selling them, put them away. Ship them back to Tops, put the black mark on them and say it couldn't sell them. That's why you find so many boxes with the black marks on them. Because those are boxes that just couldn't sell and Tops was kind of stuck with them. So they, they offed them in uh, major um, auctions or uh, vault sales or whatever. But... Uh, they draw that black line on them. I don't know why they need to do that other than to show uh, that um, they couldn't sell them, but probably just show that they've been discontinued. Anyway, Series 14. Good looking stuff. Series 14. Back starting to kill me. Doing 15 series is not uh, a little time consuming with the, with the flip phone. Anyway, that's 15. But like I said, um, I have graded cards. Um, I got a couple gold proofs too, a Mark Spark gold proof, a couple flashback gold proofs. I'll probably put those up on eBay soon, but if you're interested in uh, any of that stuff or interested in me building you a set, um, let me know and I can put one together for you. Uh, if it's series 1 through 15, it doesn't have to come with the binders. Um, I just I like to display them that way. So if you don't want them with the binders, let me know. Uh, that's not usually a request I get, but I can do that for you. And I can build the set with Glossy or Matte Back Series 1. Um, if it's Glossy Series 1 in, in minty condition, um, the price of uh, Garbage Book Kids would go up substantially. Um, most of my glossy sets sell for over a thousand dollars or right at a thousand dollars just depends on the quality and it really comes down to a couple cards that really uh, drive the value of the glossy sets up that the 85 glossy sets uh, they just you just don't find them that often um, hardly anybody lists them on eBay and if they do they're in poor quality condition there was a set that just sold for about 300 bucks and I would have put it in the um, I just would have called it low grade 
like I don't want to call it poor grade, but uh, I definitely uh, didn't think it was much of a a grade. About as low as grade as you could get, and it still sold for almost 300 bucks. So if that tells you anything about the glossy back first series, um, so yeah, I can I can build a series one through 15 uh, with glossy or matte or with both. If you wanted a matte and glossy first series, all 88 cards, let me know. So this is series 15. This is the final series. The cool thing about this series, I forgot to mention, is they uh, mass produced it in uh, uh, what's called non die cut. Um, when you um, look at these cards, these are actually all die cuts. What the die cut is, is the sticker trim that goes around the card is cut in. So that makes this set more valuable because top screwed up when they printed these off and they forgot to put the die cut in them, or at least didn't do it. I don't know if they forgot, but they just didn't do it. Um, so this set though is all uh, all die cut, which makes it the the rarer set of, uh, of the Series 15. And it uh, makes it... Uh, twice as valuable as the first set because there's just not uh, as many of them out there and this set is in uh, pretty pristine condition um, I pay close attention to uh, any dings or any um, uh, wax stains, gum stains, that type of stuff so I try when I put these minty sets together to make them as minty as I can and that is it for series 15. So like I said, uh, shoot me a message if there's uh, anything you'd like me to build you or if you had any sets in mind. But uh, this series 1 through 15 is sold. Um, the, the buyer just wanted me to uh, put it up so we could see the video and uh, see some pictures of it. So uh, sorry to take up too much of your day, but um, if you want some nice sets, get a hold of me. All right, thanks.